Hey folks, so when we last left off from the last campfire, we fed um, Mr. Big Piggy over here a nourishing meal cooked by the tortoise cook. And we finished rescuing all of the forlorns from the marsh. So now the campfire glows blue for us. The next step is to approach the forest king well, approach the approach the next iteration of the Forest King. The ghost said, "You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. You have done well to get this far, little one. I will clear the path ahead for you." Take it that with four of those blocks, there are four parts. But we'll see what happens later on. You have seen another watching over you. They know the secrets of this place. Seek them out. Onward we go, Amber. Let's see what we can find. Let's search out the one who knows the secrets of this place. The painting was the same as Ember had seen before. Two embers shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. I can't see the two embers shining in the daylight, but maybe I'm just blind. A little forlorn. The forlorn was cold to the touch, different to the others. The stranger spoke. Thank you for coming to help. I can't let another in right now. Ember shared a moment with the forlorn and hoped they would find what they needed. That's an important lesson. Sometimes people can't let anybody else in. And the only thing you can do is be present. And if they don't want you to be present, then leave them be with the knowledge that... Well now, well now, we've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, fun, fun, over the wall they goes. Hope you have a good excuse for running off, Scab. Ember's heart sank. Ember told the birds about all they had seen in the marsh, pleading for their help. Save your made-up stories for the Forest King. Oh yes, yes, tell the lies to the King. This is going to be fun. Ember felt nervous standing before the king again. Frustrated, the forest king said, Poor tired Ember, where did you go? You must rest now. You give false hope. Try and fail and hurt. This is all there is. And some people in life believe that as a fact. Ember could feel the Forest King looking right through them. This end, they're no more. Why not stop? Let go of this. It's that little voice that speaks inside all of us. 
Why not stop? Is it worth carrying? Should we just give up? And sometimes the answer to that voice is go away. You must stay. No more foolish hope. Last chance. Take key now. Make sure gates are locked. Let no more in. Let no more out. Ember took the key. What choice did they have? Yeah, this really is your last chance. Don't betray the Forest King again. Well, let's see what happens if I betray the Forest King again. Should be fun. I think, is this not where I came from? The stranger glanced around, speaking in hushed tones. You managed to slip down to the marsh? I think I'll look for the campfire there too. Good luck to you, stranger. Ah. The crossroads gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. The gate was already locked. I mean, you shouldn't have given me the key if the gate was already locked. Eagerly, Ember left the birds behind, glad to be free. I'm gonna need to get across to the other side to make that one work. Hello. The traveller whispered. Used to be a river all round here. Watched the birds build the dam night and day. Took them forever. They had no clue what they were doing. It was hilarious. Hello, Mr. Crab. It was an abandoned boat, sadly stranded in the mud. Can I not unstrand it? Ember was at the entrance to a dark cave. The smell of stale water oozed out, like it had once been flooded, but now was bone dry. Marsh mud. That's what I've managed to smell. Marsh mud. Or rather, shall I say, whenever I've smelled marsh mud, that's what it smelled like. Stale, old water that had to be dark, gone dry. They did so poorly. So maybe there is a way of defeating what the birds built. Let's first see what's up here. the stranger said look it's iron claw 
friend, this crab is the terror of the marsh. Together we can trap him. I've got a plan, been waiting for someone to help. Let's catch Iron you Claw then. And I'll help you. Try lowering the crab over here with the chum in that bucket. I can do that. I've done it with the piggies before. Ah, okay, I see. One of those past oh. He's not got eyes in the back of his head. Those puzzles. I really dislike those puzzles. Uh if I throw it here. That's not work either. Unless Okay. Now do him here. Not there. There. Okay. So if I lure him here. Bring him here, he'll turn to the left. If I lure him here, however, and then here, and then there, then I can lure him there, and up the ramp. While he's on the other side of the ramp, I can reach the Wanderer's journal. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. Hands encircled around the evening fire, merry lanthorn tunes, singing out the promises of old. Will home be as we remember? Thinking about the good old days. Crab is all yours. Didn't plan any further than this. Look at that claw, though, friend. Could do some real damage. Come on, then, Iron Claw. Let's go do some snipping. Oh, wait, that's a full one. Iron Claw, I'm gonna put you. Let me put you down for a second, boy. The forlorn was not the same as the others, flinching at Ember's approach. The stranger spoke. I don't want your help. I'm not ready to let go of how I'm feeling. With regret, Ember moved on. To some, you can restore hope. To others, time is the best healer. And unfortunately, sometimes the time that is the best healer is a long time. Uh, sorrow. 
belong to me. Where's Iron Claw? Where do you go? Iron Claw. Ember thought of the pigs from the marsh. Someone had tightly sealed the dam's mouth. Ember wondered what secrets it might spill. but I'll pass. Although, let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh no, it's a cage down. Okay. Hello, Amber. The stranger pondered. I just wanted to fix things, to help get the water flowing again. But I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Makes two of us. The bellows breathed life into the fire beneath the boiler. But it would take more air to fully stoke the fire. Now we need to fix some of these pipes. You can go there. Then shift there. Okay. Something's happening. Oh, that did something. I think there's one more of those valve things. Let's go and find it. Okay, so it's over here. Is that the one that I need? That's the one that I need to pick up. So, in that case, I need to divert. To there. that there and to get that going in the right direction again I can't believe you did it I hope we don't get in trouble for this. Oh, the Forest King really hates me, so not much more trouble I can get what into. What a satisfying rush to damn waters first. Ember really did hope they wouldn't be in trouble. restoring hope. The Forest King just wants hope to die. That reminds me of... Eh, again, I'll say it. It reminds me of the Nowhere King from Centaur World. I haven't watched Centaur World, but uh, one of the people I used to play online tabletop with... Um, with everything flooded again. Ember wondered if now they could reach the entrance of the cave. They they sent the um, 
Song of the Nowhere King and it really matches the feel of the forest here for me. is all yours. Look at that claw though, friend. Could do some real damage. Okay, so you're not helpful to me at all. Okay. So let's look at this logically. Can I? Aha! Climb up there. And then what? Ah, brings us back here. Freed from the mud, the boat looked inviting. The boat was a perfect fit for Embo. It felt like they were on the right path at last. Jesus, my paddling skills, no wonder he got lost in the first place. The passageway was dark and eerily silent. Embo wondered why the dam had been blocked. A bit late to start wondering why something was blocked or locked off once you're already in it. Although, to be fair, the birds probably did it because they didn't want anyone else to get out and they didn't want the forlorns to have any more hope. So, eh, it's, a, it's a bit of a tough one now. There was a lens on the wall. It looked dull in the darkness. Okay, so there's a lens there. There's a lens holder here. And then there's a lens, a loose lens by the dead ember. So the loose lens fits into there. And that one shines into the crystal. The crystal rotates. gate opened, a thought occurred. What was the gate keeping locked away? Once again, a little bit late to start thinking about that. The lanthorn wards off ghosts and fear. It shapes the world as we wish it. I urge my companion to rest, but still they stare into the fire. Looks 
that the land tone is going to become more and more important as we carry on. Embo had found another unlit campfire at the heart of the cave. Stranger seemed troubled. I ran away from those birds, but I can't find the end. The forest king offered me a feather. Maybe I should just take it. Keep running. Don't just take the first thing that you're offered. Even if it seems like the best result. Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. Our feet are weary, the hours long. There will be much to do when we arrive. I tell my companion of those waiting at home. They do not seem to know what to say. The stranger muttered, Another lanthorn player. Well, I'm not falling for that again. I'm not falling for that again, that's interesting. Okay, and I can't play the lanthorn on the one that I'm on. Ha ha, but I have found a missing lens. That's a rather large skeleton, that is much larger than an amber. A shadow moved in the distance, and hoped that it was a trick of the light. His body slithered between the rocks, seeming to never end. The ghost said, Speak, and I will listen. This is the cave of regret. Fear would not allow hope to find a perch here. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn forlorn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. from this campfire, a path runs north. Where the pathway ends, a forlorn lies helpless. A 
hate to tell you this, but uh, there's no pathway to the north here. Mr. Campfire Ghost Person. Uh, I'm actually kind of stuck now. Great. Uh, well... Get you. there we go. So far to the north, at the end of the pathway lies a forlorn. Ah, there. The stranger was wary, coiled and tense. Ah, okay, I think I understand. had gifted them friends in the past. And Amber and this. The yes. dark had stolen much more. Can we 
something I can do. The lantern got me in there. Pick that little thing. Put them on there. Can the lantern not... Sometimes these colors are very deceptive. Would this new light do the same? whispered, I'm so tired. Do you know the way? I know the way. Come, it's this way. Then you can rest at the campfire. The campfire flickered into life. Ghost said, Speak and I will listen. The forest kit the campfire will find those who are lost. Bring embers to the fire. Travel wisely. Return if you have lost your way. And this we will end off this week's episode of The Last Campfire. We've unlocked the caves, um, potentially released an anaconda who will fight the birds, who knows? Uh, only the Forest King knows, I suppose. And um, we've returned hope to one of the seven forlorns. If you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. I want to leave a comment. Cheers.